breakfast for a normal everyday meal. Uh, I know a lot of people think, oh, Japan, green tea, and like we must be sitting around sipping green tea left and right. Uh, it is true that um, green tea is a common beverage in Japan, but I wouldn't say that it's the most common. Um, probably the most common would be more like a uh, mugicha or um, different kinds of ocha that you might drink that are really common for little kids especially. Uh, we don't serve Kool-Aid. The image of Kool-Aid is like grotesque to people here. The colors are horrendous and it's just sugar water, so usually uh, they get served barley tea. That's what mugicha is. So. That's a common thing for kids to take to school with their lunches, to have with lunch at school. Um, and it's, you know, cheap and easy to make and it's not bad for you and there's not much caffeine, unlike green tea, which does have caffeine. Um, green tea is a common thing to have in the summertime if you have a thinner version of a green tea. Um, usually chilled, maybe with ice, that can kind of dilute it a little though, um, but you do sometimes see that. And then, uh, you know, a thicker kind of tea is served warm, uh, sometimes with meals, um, and in the winter time. But it's still not something that I would say everybody is always drinking. I would probably say the most common beverage in Japan is coffee. Uh, everybody drinks coffee, they drink it in so many different ways. Uh, it's everywhere, it's hot in the winter, cold in the summer. Um, it's probably the most common beverage. Um, I've mentioned before the vending machines where they sell the hot coffee and other hot beverages in the winter time. Um, almost all these instant coffees that you can buy at the convenience store and in the machines are all sweetened. Uh, they're a little sweet um, and then usually you can buy like latte versions that have like a cream in them. Uh, it's not very common to find things that are straight up black and uh, maybe there's one in the choice of what you can pick from. It is rare and I have to search for them because I hate sweet coffee so it takes a little while to find uh, sometimes the kind that you want to have. But uh, you, you know, it says black on it and you think, oh, this is black coffee, but then you drink it and it's got sugar in it. So you have to look for the little kanji that tells you that it doesn't have any sugar in it. So <laughs> that can be confusing, but uh, I think then in the summertime, you know, everything is cold. So it's really common to just get cold coffees, cold coffee, coffees that have uh, milk and sugar in them as well. And, um, but none of these kind of weird concoctions that you usually see like at Starbucks. Now Starbucks is popular and people do go there and people do get frappuccinos. Uh, but that's uh, kind of a treat that's really rare. It's not something you get all the time. Uh, usually people just drink, you know, cold cafe lattes, iced lattes uh, all the time. Uh, in the summertime, it's a really common beverage. The other thing that's kind of cool is that we have these little um, kind of things that look like creamer holders, but they're a little bit bigger. And inside is basically a shot of espresso. And it's usually sweetened and you just pour it in over ice and you could just drink it straight or you can add milk to it to make a quick, easy summer cold coffee beverage. So that's a good thing to have in the summertime. Uh, and also super easy when guests come and you don't have to go to the hassle of making coffee. Uh, those kinds of instant coffees are really popular here, powdered coffees. Uh, some people do have fancy coffee machines and bean grinders and the such, but, um, you know, it's, I'd say it's, you know, if you're a connoisseur of coffee, you might have those kinds of things. But the average home just has an average coffee, coffee maker or, and maybe some um, instant coffee. Those are always really common, so. Um, other kinds of drinks, you know, soda is really popular, carbonated beverages, Coke, pop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, those things are popular, of course. Um, there's little itty bitty sizes sometimes that you can find at the grocery stores and in vending machines and then the average size and then a super tall size that's kind of rare. Um, it's certainly not chugged down left and right like we do in the States. Um, sizes of drinks and what comes with things like at McDonald's are generally smaller than you would maybe be used to seeing in the States. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of looked down on to let kids drink too much because uh, it's just considered sort of a grown-up kind of special sort of thing to have. Um, so it's, it's sort of saved for those kind of occasions. But um, there's also lots of other drinks, lots of strange drinks. One of the really common ones is called Calpis. And I'm not saying cow piss. This is uh, C-A-L-P-I-S. <laughs> so when you come here, people are like, you want some Calpis? And you're like, yeah, I'd love some. Yeah, it's kind of scary. But it's uh, kind of a milk-derived drink. And um, it's real common for little kids. It's a little sweet, um, but real refreshing. It's, it's a really good drink, actually. And I, I've always thought it might be the secret ingredient in Orange Julius.
maybe who knows but so it's it's a fun thing to kind of look for if you get a chance to come and visit uh, just looking at the vending machines and trying different drinks can be lots of fun so um, I'd love to hear if you guys have any favorite beverages in where you're from um, I think you know my favorite of course growing up as a kid was Kool-Aid Kool-Aid was awesome I loved all the flavors I loved making it I loved pouring all that sugar in there and thinking this is cool I didn't really think about it much. It was just cool. So, but that was, you know, what we drank in the summertime. So, 